faux cliche, welcome to Let The Meat Cake. Uh, I've got a bit of a cold at the moment and I'm feeling pretty miserable so I'm not really feeling like making this video but I've been really busy painting some shells and using some moulds and things and doing some shell type crafts and I wanted to put together a little DIY to show you guys some of the stuff that I've been doing. It's not the kind of thing that I normally do for the channel but there's a reason why I've done this and it's basically because um, one of the YouTubers who I like to follow a lot is getting married and she's doing a lot of wedding stuff on her own and she was talking um, in a video a little while ago how she's finding it a bit hard and today I've got on this is my wedding tiara and my wedding earrings and I think every girl should feel like a princess every day but especially on their wedding day and I know leading up to my wedding because I had moved um, interstate to be with my husband um, I basically had to do everything for our wedding by myself I didn't really have any help or support and it was a really difficult really stressful time and I found it really hard we had a shoestring budget and although the day itself to me I had a really wonderful day and I think um, our guests our friends and family who came also had a really good time but I just Still, like uh, there was criticism later on from family members who just decided to pick things that you know I had been so stressed and overwhelmed and I didn't give out thank you cards for the gifts at the end also uh, you normally that's something the bridesmaids I guess help you with I only had one bridesmaid and she'd flown over from interstate and she wasn't really Super helpful because she was going through her own stuff really have a lot of help from her and <coughs> I got really sick leading up to the wedding because of all the stress that I was under but yeah so I didn't do thank you cards and that offended some people um, and apparently I, I copped some criticism because the hem of my dress wasn't straight which wasn't something I'd noticed um, you know, I was happy with it and I guess, you know, you don't really look down and <laughs> see it. Um, there's just lots of little things that people decided that they needed to pick at and point out the things that, you know, even though I had done my best without any help, I still felt like I was getting criticised for things. Um, and that was really hard and I... I just hearing about some of the hassles that uh, Emily had, I wanted to do something to DIY for this. I hope you enjoy this little shell craft DIY video. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye, lovely. Start by painting your shell a solid colour. In this case I've painted my shells pink and then I've left it to dry for a few hours. Then just pick your highlighted colour and with a fine brush just slowly put it on over the I guess the little spines of the shell and just gently blend it in to give it a multicoloured look. To give your shells this pretty pale colour washed look, paint your shells all over with a solid colour and then while it's still wet, take a makeup wipe or a tissue and just basically rub most of the paint off so that the paint sticks in the grooves of the shell. Start by painting your shell a solid colour and letting it dry, then cover your shell completely with craft glue and pour some fine glitter into a bowl, roll your shell thoroughly in the glitter and then set it aside to dry. I made the sea stars with a mold that I picked up for a couple of dollars on eBay. You can find my eBay Pinterest 
board on my Pinterest page if you click on it up the top here. Um, I'm just using some terracotta air drying clay and just pushing it into the mold. You need to use a bit of pressure to make sure it's nice and firm to get your little round star shapes. Then give it a good squeeze all around on the edges and your star should pop right out. If it sticks to the tray a bit, you can use a knife just to lift it off. Uh, it takes a couple of hours for the clay to harden, but you can speed the process up a bit using a hair dryer if you're in a bit of a hurry. For a detailed list of all the materials used in this video, check out my website and you'll find all the information there. Je veux jouer un croissant. Je suis enchanté. Où est la bibliothèque? Voilà mon passeport. Ah, je l'ai déjà perdu. Une baguette.